Ladies, I tell you, I must admit that I can devour a good old-fashioned plate of soul food, and that's so cool <laughs> once in a while, believe me. But eating foods that aren't the healthiest on a regular basis will definitely catch up with you. Now, fortunately, you don't have to give up soul food. Instead, you can eat soul food light, all right? Mm. That's really good. So let's see how healthy makes it happen. With chicken fried and lard and greens seasoned with pork, soul food is irritating. Irresistible. Problem is, it can also cause deadly diseases like diabetes, hypertension, and obesity. Healthy soul food isn't an oxymoron. There are ways that we can still make wonderful dishes but make them healthy. In terms of mac and cheese, they have wonderful vegan products out right now. Whether or not a vegan lifestyle is your choice, you can still make your soul food healthier. Instead of using pork in your greens, try some turkey bacon. Instead of having fried chicken, try using some great seasonings and grill or bake your chicken. When you have your salads with romaine lettuce, green leaf lettuce, anything but the iceberg lettuce, we need to make sure that we have salad dressings that are clear, olive oil type based salad dressings. And minimize the consumption of fried foods. Skinless grilled chicken that was marinated this morning in nice spices and seasonings, vegetarian collard greens, and healthily prepared candied yams, oh, the peas great. and rice, and you have our house-made cornbread. Indeed, good food is good for the body and the soul. You want to make sure that you're going to be around to see your grandchildren and that you're going to be around to love the next generation and that you're going to stay healthy. Now I can work with that. Trust me, I can work with that. <laughs> now, we certainly don't want to ever forget our butter biscuits, right? Our candy yams, yeah. yeah. our black eyed peas, Sorry. all that good stuff. I'm hungry oh, thinking God. about it. Mm. Anyway, now we know that there is a healthier option available. And ladies, I got to tell you, I just love being here on Aww. My Black is Beautiful. Mm. But before we go, can we share with our women that are looking and our men and tell them what our black is? I'm going to say my black is courageous. Oh. Mm. My right. black is courageous. I want to just be full of courage all the time. Mm. My black is validated. Yes. My black is mm. validated. Not yes. looking for validation from anyone or anything, media, images, mm. whatever. My mm. black is validated. That sounds great. Oh. She, that was a, she sent a chill yeah. through my bones with that. But I'll say right now, my black is a can-do attitude, yeah. which is infused by belief in myself. Mm -hmm. And the only way I can have that is to look at my special assets, whether they be internal or external, and yes. validate those. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. My black is, although I am an independent mm -hmm. woman, my black is a man called Radcliffe Bailey, who I'm marrying on June 27th. Yes. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. You deserve it. I do. Because your black is beautiful and your black right. is deserving. How about that? Yes. Sitting on that. Yeah. Okay, Chrisette, what's your black? You know what? I'm going to just keep it simple. My black is happy. I'm just so blessed and so excited about life. Uh, being mm. an entrepreneur like us girls are, yes. uh, my black is just happy. I love you know? it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I want to thank my beautiful guests, Chrisette Michelle, Sonia Sohn, Kim Fields, and Victoria Rodgers. I'm Tasha Smith, and thank you so much for watching My Black is Beautiful. And don't forget that your black is beautiful. So go out and uplift and encourage and inspire someone within your community today. We love you so much. Take care of yourself. Be beautiful, black woman. Be beautiful.